morning guys, welcome back to Status Detail and on today's video we're going to talk about PPF, we're definitely going to talk about happiness and ultimately we're going to talk about this car which is a Lamborghini Aventador 50th anniversary. Uh, this thing is super awesome, it's pretty brutal with the single clutch. Um, it's pretty interesting too because a lot of people talk about that, ooh yeah, there we go, that's that V12 singing to us. Uh, a lot of people talk about the, the single clutch on this and honestly I think it drives pretty nicely if you know what you're doing. Um, you just can't drive it certain ways because it doesn't kind of respond to it. So you kind of got to, you know, make love to it while you're driving to it. But uh, let's let's jump into the video. Alrighty, so welcome back to Status HQ. And uh, don't mind my phone because I'm going to kind of be using this to look over some notes and stuff. So I want to make sure I cover everything. And I'm just holding the microphone today. So this is a microphone before I get a million comments on what are you holding. Um, okay, so let's dive into it. So many of you know, especially my subscribers and especially my Instagram followers know I recently made a video called uh, I found the best paint protection film and it's not Expel. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll try and link it up here. You can go watch it right away. Uh, it's pretty interesting, it's kind of eye-opening. So in that video, I basically said that I'm going to be installing Aztec Dino Shield as my uh, paint protection film within status detail. I go over a bunch of different reasons why. You can check out the video, it's gonna go over all that stuff for you. And uh, I shared that video, like I do most of my videos, into a couple different places on Facebook, because it's a great way to get views. If you're a content creator, you should be using that. It's a, a fantastic way to kind of broaden your reach for your channel. One of the places I did that was in a Facebook group for paint protection film. Now this is primarily a group full of installers. So that video was really designed for consumers for you guys to see the difference between the films and if you are a customer or a potential customer of Status Detail, for you to see why I'm using this because it's what I'm putting on your car. Lots of comments came out of that. I would say, you know, a good amount of the comments were very positive, very nice things. You know, good luck on learning how to do PPF. Uh, we use Aztec, we love it, whatever. A lot, of, a lot of that. Then there was the people who were basically like, you have no idea what you're talking about. Um, you know, you're gonna have a real tough time learning how to do this stuff because your expectations are all in a whack. And I think those people were some of the funniest ones because they actually don't know a lot about me and what I do and how much I've already put into this and how much of it's, how it's been such a big part of our, uh, you know, business for the last two or three years. Um, so they think I'm, I guess I'm going in cold turkey or something, I don't know. But, um, you know, everyone always thinks they know everything about everybody, but it's not always that simple. Um, and then the, the third category was the, peop the people who were like wildly offended, like as if I, you know, like Will Smith like smacked Chris Rock, but it was their mother. Like, you know, like they like, they went off the rails, man. They got so upset by this video and like were like super triggered. Um, and some of these people clearly were, you know, the people that work for certain brands that were not Aztec, right? So they, they worked for the brands that were the competing companies and they, they, they were mad that basically someone said something that was bad about their brand or that wasn't, positive towards their brand and for the most part I can kind of understand that but like it was the things that they were said and the things that happened were, were pretty wild. Now it's very interesting that a lot of the comments that were coming out of this that were the negative or very extreme side of them being kind of hostile I would say I think that's the right word this is just my opinion um, was that all of these people were basically saying that I, you know it the, 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 the phrase it's paint protection film, not paint perfection film, came up a lot. And all of these people were clearly highly motivated, focused, and only commenting with uh, a major emphasis on money. So, you know, they were like, you can't do it that way, you will make no money. Or if you focus on that, everyone's gonna come back and they're gonna wanna refund the money. If you don't plot, you're gonna do the job slower and you're gonna lose money. If you don't plot, you're gonna lose too much material and you're gonna lose money on the bottom line. Everybody was wildly focused on the money. They were talking more about material cost and, and, and wasting money and not being able to do the job quickly. Lots of discussion about wanting to do the job quickly. Now remember, it's very important, Everybody in this group, for the most part, is an installer. So these are the people you guys, the people watching my videos, who are the consumers, you're the end customer. These are the people you guys are doing business with. So now, and this is extremely important for you guys to understand, um, this is simply, first and foremost, this is simply my opinion, everything I'm saying. And number two, much more important, for everything I'm going to say in any video, there's always 
you know, a guy who's the opposite of that. So for every person that's chasing money, there's a guy not chasing money, who's like me, who's really passionate and wants to work on cool cars and do the best work. And there are a lot of people like that. So don't take what I'm saying and, and turn it or twist it and say, you know, oh, everyone's out to get your money. No, there are a lot of very good detailers, very good PPF installers, very good tent people, whatever it is, who truly are fantastic, passionate, and have your best interests in mind. But within this post, where all this kind of craziness happened, there was clearly a lot of people who were the type of people who, you know, were like, I plot because I go fast, it saves time and I get cars in and out. I do X amount of cars a month and that's really important. That's how we make all our money. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to focus on making money. There's nothing wrong with having a business that's based on volume because it makes the maximum amount of profit. There's nothing wrong with any of that. That is not how I run my business um, and that's my opinion and I, and, you know, because, because that's how I don't want to do it. And there are people like me and there are people like those people who want to do the volume. I think there's an emphasis still on the people who want to do volume and try and do it perfect because that's still an option and still, you know, attainable, but it's hard. It's much harder because when you have high turnover and people are coming in and out, it's very hard to have high quality standards. Um, so just for what's going forward for the remainder of this video, like I said, it's very important to understand that these people are focused more on money than on passion, especially from the negative side of all the comments coming in, which, which is uh, very relevant. You know, it's typical that PPF for a long time was only offered by people who do only PPF. And why is that? It's because those people knew they made a ton of money doing it, so they basically stopped doing everything else and focused on PPF. Nothing wrong with that, right? Totally, 100%, nothing wrong with that. But when you focus on that because it's only good for turning out a lot of money, and then you scale that and you go down that and you turn into the guy who comments in this group saying how I'm a, you know, a jackass because I'm not gonna make any money, it shows you that these are the people selling you know, people with $50,000 cars full body PPF when they don't need it because they're making huge profit. And then you know, I had a guy reach out to me over the weekend, or uh, not over the weekend, but two days ago, and uh, you know, he was saying that he saw my Urus video, which was the paint protection film sucks video, and he was like, I've never seen anyone talk badly about paint protection film, so your video was really fascinating. I have a question or two. I'm getting a Model Y, and he wanted to know if you know he should do full body or full front because he wasn't really sure if he should believe the, the PPF installers he was talking to because he wasn't sure if he was being sold something or if he needed something. And that's a huge problem with, with, with the PPF industry, I think, because depending on who you're talking to, and especially if they're the shop focused on money, it's very hard to get a sales pitch from a person who's trying to either A, sell you something, or B, tell you you need something. If you need something, you know, then you should get it. But if you're being sold something, then it's a luxury. Do you really need all of that? Or do you only need some of that or part of it or none of it? That's when uh, it gets more interesting. So that's part of why I've in the past been anti-PPF because I was like, the way the industry kind of worked, I didn't like it. Um, I didn't like the way it was being sold to people. It, it, it was being sold as this bulletproof armor vest that goes over the car and if you do a whole car, the whole thing is bulletproof. And that's not really how it works and that's not how the value works because paint protection film, in my opinion, is based purely on value. So if you understand what you're buying and you understand what the value you're getting into is, then you'll likely have a great ownership with it. Lots of people are buying paint protection film and love it. None of those people are wrong, okay? But lots of people are buying paint protection film and having a good experience, but they would have had a good experience without paint protection film, but they don't even realize because they don't fully understand what they bought or why they bought it. They just know they bought something expensive and they're pretty sure that it's doing the trick. So it's just like, hey, that $10,000 of full body was great. I have everything great to say about it but they don't realize that they drive their car 50 miles a year and if they didn't buy paint protection film, it would look identical to that and they have 10 grand in their wallet still. So, and that gets even more complicated when the car only costs 50,000 or 70,000 or 80,000. When you get into 200,000, 500,000, a million, yeah, the conversation changes. I see detailers train their clients to see that that doesn't matter and they wonder why they can't scale their business. You are getting into the film industry with the wrong expectation, my man. 
There will be imperfections in the film and the installs guarantee. This isn't a buff and shine business. This is the film business with four exclamation points. And so yes, obviously the most important thing in the equation is the installer. It doesn't matter what film you use. If you're blind, deaf, and stupid and you're doing paint production film and it looks like crap, it's gonna look like crap. So obviously I'm going to train to be to the highest level of, of, this, of this industry like I do with everything else. Uh, I would say I am probably one of the best detailers in uh, the Chicagoland area, if not all of Illinois, um, if not far broader than that in paint correction, ceramic coatings, and generalized high-end uh, detailing. So I'm not going to learn to be an average paint protection film installer. Again, my followers know this, uh, but this person doesn't seem to know, you know, the, the brand. Um, he'll, he'll know our name one day, don't worry. You know, he's training people to do everything that makes me anti-PPF. He's, that's why I've seen all these cars all my career and been upset with paint protection film and the things that I see and the, the things that are, are wrong with them and to have things peeling and to have all these issues in the film. And that, you know, like that's why I'm anti-PPF. And when you see a comment like that, doesn't it make a lot of sense? It's because paint protection film installers are being trained to make the maximum amount of money. Not to give the maximum customer service, not to give the maximum perfection install, not to give the maximum clarity in paint protection film. They don't care about the car or you if this is what the comment reads from the guy who's training the installer who did your car. It's training them, make all the money as much as you can, as fast as you can. Now, many of you watching this who subscribe to my channel already know that's not my business model. That's not my philosophy and will never be like that. I have routinely said that I will not scale my business to, you know, 50 employees because it'll probably always remain just me and I might add one person, maybe two people to help me do stuff, but I'm always part of that equation because as he said in the video, as he said in the comment, aren't you part of the equation? You bet ass I'm part of the equation. That's why I'll always be involved with the business. That's why there'll never be a day where I'm not checking a car over if I have an employee doing it, that I'm checking that work, that I'm checking over the PPF, the paint correction, the ceramic, whatever, because status detail is Evan, it's me. Without me in that equation, status detail is not a company anymore, okay? If I wanna make a company that scales to a billion dollars in revenue where we wash 20,000 cars in a month through different locations, I'm not gonna call it status detail. It's gonna be called something totally different and you're probably never gonna hear about it because it's not gonna be something that is worth talking about in my opinion. That's just a normal run of the mill business that's focused on money. There's nothing wrong with that. But Status Detail is a company that's focused on passion-driven automotive detailing content that includes detailing the cars, but also just the stories behind the cars like the 993 barn find and the, the kind of the journey of the brand itself. Um, you know, it's cool to look back and look at Stradman living out of his Gallardo and then building his mansion now. Like I hope to have that kind of history lesson with our channel at some point as, the, as it grows. It'll be cool to see that. Um, so this is, this is not just a detailing company anymore. It's a brand and what the brand is and what the brand represents is really important to me. And it, and it represents the highest level of automotive detailing in the world. And that's what we're always going for. So yeah, that's the that matters. How you do anything is how you do everything. And you bet your I'm going to do PPF to the highest standard that I can do it. I'm training with a person currently who is incredible, who was recommended to me by a heart surgeon by trade who said he had the best knife skills he had ever seen. Now when a heart surgeon, a guy who's saving people's lives tells you that this PPF guy has some of the best knife skills he's ever seen to bolt cut fenders and bumpers and all that stuff, you know he's good. And I have this resource now to help me learn and train me, um, which means not only do I have him as a resource for this business to do installs with S-Tech Film, so starting now, immediately, I have one of the best installers probably in the nation to do in-house S-Tech Dino Shield installs, which is the best film that not only I have found, but now I have one of the best installers around to install it for me. And he's training me. So I'm learning from this guy now, which means I would imagine I'll be pretty good. Uh, will that take some time? Absolutely, because I'm part of the equation, as that guy said in the comment. So this doesn't happen overnight. I have to learn for years to get to a masterful level. But while I'm learning, I'll have the master here teaching me and doing the installs. So you can count on some of the highest level installs out of this shop. Um, you know, over the, over the coming weeks, months, and years uh, while I am learning, but while he is also putting that film on the car himself.
I'm making videos like this one, like the paint protection film sucks video, and the I found the best paint protection film on the market and it's not expel video, I make these videos for you guys, for the consumer, the end customer who gets this put on your car, whether it be an M3, uh, you know, a 911, a, a Ventador, like this 50th anniversary Aventador. This car is number 44 of 100, and there's only 33 of these in the United States. It's one of the rarest cars I've ever worked on. There's also a one of one off camera, you can't see it, um, Liberty Walk uh, Uricon that was done by RDBLA, and this thing is also super cool. These customers, these customers come here, they come to status detail because they know that's the that matters and that I'm the guy that delivers the that matters. Even if they can't see it, I'm gonna see it. So they know that when I give that car back to them, it was done to my standards. And they know that if they can't see it, but I saw it, that the car is perfect. And they have that much trust in me. That's why this customer with the 30, you know, the, the 40, the number 40 of 100 Aventador, he let me drive it for an hour to pick it up because it was convenient for him because he trusts me. Do you think they're letting the porter who does the 2,000 cars a month pick up the $600,000 car? No, not happening, okay? Because they're different businesses. We do different things. I want you guys to understand that I make these videos for you guys. I'm here to educate you guys so you know what's getting put on your car, so you know what to look for, so you know if you're getting value, so you know if you're being sold or if you need something. So if you need one reason to subscribe to this channel or to watch more of my videos or to be a part of this community that is status detail across all social media platforms, I don't know what a better reason is than that, but I am definitely for you guys. Somebody else in the comments commented saying, that you know they they gave that guy in, in the comments uh, a little bit of a hard time about what he said because they should because what he said was ridiculous and then someone commented on top of that guy saying you know you're challenging one of the wealthiest people in the game as if being very wealthy makes you an expert on you know what you should do with your own personal business everyone's business is different okay this is not a volume based business this business is about doing it perfect their business is about doing volume and making a lot of money both of those exist None of us are wrong. There's just two different ways of doing it, okay? So it's so important to understand that there are two different ways of doing it. What you need to understand, the person watching this, the consumer, the end customer, is which person do you want doing your car? Do you want me, the guy who's gonna try and do it perfect and do everything I can to get it that way? Or do you want the guy who does massive volume, unbelievably wealthy, lives in the giant house, right? Who does all that volume but they're not concerned about whether you can tell if it's perfect or not. If you can see the imperfections, you're, you know, they're, they're hoping for you to basically be oblivious and just give the money at the, at the checkout counter and leave. Which company would you choose? I know which one I would choose. For all my Gary Vaynerchuk fans out there, Gary V, uh, happiness is the end game, okay? So it doesn't matter if you do what I do, which is low volume perfection stuff, or if you high volume, huge cash flow stuff. If you can do high volume, 20,000 PPF jobs a year and be wildly happy because that makes you fulfilled and you know having all that extra money like makes you calm and happy or whatever, whatever the situation may be. If you are happy doing that, then you won, okay? I have nothing against those people and that's so crucial for you to understand watching this. I would not be happy doing that though. I have to be doing hands-on work on cars like these crazy unique one of one cars, the you know, the million dollar Senna's, the P1's, the 918 Spiders, the Bugatti Chiron's, the the 33 units of uh, Aventador 50th anniversaries, the one of one uh, Liberty Walk cars for the most meticulous people in the world. My clients are the most meticulous people in the world and they come here because they know that I can handle the work that they require because they know they can't go anywhere else for it. That makes me fulfilled, that makes me happy. That's why for the last two nights, I've worked till 2 a.m. in the morning getting these cars done because we were double booked and had to get stuff done to help people out in, in kind of a time crunch for this car's going, the, the Liberty Walk's going to a car show. This is what makes me happy. It's not work to me, it's fun and it's enjoyment and it's happiness, okay? Happiness is the end game. What you wanna find is a business where it's run by a person who's already happy because they, they figured it out, okay? And if you are happy running that volume business, that's a beautiful thing. Or if you're happy doing the, the lower volume stuff, then, that's, the, then that's, that's perfect too. But between those two businesses, 
what would you, the viewer, want to pick to do the work on your car? Would you want the perfection guy or the super wealthy, you know, uh, high-end guy? That is the question for only you to answer. What I can tell you for a fact is, if you are that super wealthy person, but you are not happy, you should probably make some changes in the way you're doing some things because it's not worth it. And if you are the guy who's making under $100,000 a year, maybe even under $50,000 a year right now, and you're learning how to do PPF, you're learning how to paint correct cars, you're learning how to ceramic coat cars, and you're learning how to scale your business and make a ton of money, if you think the money is the end game, if you think the money is the happiness, I'm telling you right now that you're chasing the wrong thing. So make sure you're getting into whatever you're getting into in any situation, in any walk of life, in any job perspective thing that you're doing. Money is rarely like the return on investment, okay? Like money is rarely the happiness. It's rarely what you're actually going for. You think that that money is solving a problem that it's not solving. I can't really get a whole lot more happy than I am right now at my current income level. Even if I made another half a million or a million dollars a year, it wouldn't really change my happiness level, okay? That's why you can find people who are garbage men who are some of the happiest people around because money is not the thing that's making them happy. Other things in their life are the things that are making them happy. So that's so important. And you know, the, the detail being, extra detailed and making sure that I can knock out all the things and clean these wheels perfectly because he kept mentioning how important the wheels were to him and how he had some dirt around the rivets on the Liberty Walk body kit and that was bothering him. And this customer had some rock chips that needed to touch up before he put the PPF on and that was a huge concern to him. And you know, I have customers that have specific concerns about leather care. All of these things, all of these minute, tiny things and everything else that I just said a second ago, that is the it matters. To wrap this video up, I want to make something very clear. I am no longer anti-PPF. Everything can change in, you know, anything can change in a day, a month, a year, a decade, whatever, opinions and views change. I am no longer anti-PPF. I am anti-PPF installers who have a goal of only doing volume and have very little cares in the world for what the customer's experience is. I believe that's wrong, I believe it's unethical, and I believe it gives the paint protection film world a bad name and a sour taste in your mouth when you do business with something like that. Um, it, you know, I will do so many videos on paint protection film because it's the most expensive detailing type service you can do to your car. I think the conversation around paint protection film is very poor and has a lot of bad information surrounding it. I think paint protection film can be wildly helpful for certain customers. I think it can be helpful for certain customers and I think that it can help any customer but in that situation also you, just because it helped doesn't mean you needed it. So there, there needs to be a better conversation about this stuff and I hope this is a place where I can deliver that information to you guys. Um, because paint protection film can get a bad, can get a bad rap basically. And it, it can get a bad rap from people like me and some of my other videos. Um, but now that I'm diving into some of this stuff and I'm seeing that maybe some of the problem is actually from the conversation happening within the like legacy installers who have been doing it for 15 years who are focusing on money, maybe they're more part of the problem than the film itself. Maybe it's the way that the product was being sold and marketed to these customers as the bulletproof armor that everybody needs. Um, you know, if you're, if you're getting a PPF quote from a person who only does PPF, that quote might be more biased than getting one from a guy who does PPF ceramic, vinyl wrap, paint correction, window tint, and 30 other services. Because if you don't do PPF, he sells you something else. But if a PPF only guy doesn't sell you PPF, he makes no money. So that guy's more incentivized to tell you something that may or may not be so true. Again, what I said earlier, for everything I'm saying, there's an exception. I guarantee there are wonderful paint protection film installers out there who will tell you their honest opinion when you do or don't need something based on the way you're driving. I think that is rare, however. Um, if you're interested in paint protection film and you're in the Chicagoland area or you want to ship your car to me because you have something rare, because obviously I work on crazy rare cars, shoot me a DM on Instagram, shoot me an email, give me a call, my, my, my number's on the website, 
And uh, I'd love to help you guys figure out, you know, what's the best way to do film. If you're considering full body, maybe you only need a full front. If you're considering full front, maybe you only need a front bumper. My job is to save you guys money. I never want you to, uh, you know, to lose your money in, in, in a transaction where you didn't need to spend so much. I work really hard for my money. I know a lot of you guys do as well. So it's important that we do what's best for your car and your situation, not what's best for the person pitching you uh, in their wallet. That's, that shouldn't be the way it's sold. So what I'm basically trying to tell you is I hope this can be a really positive, awesome environment for paint protection film in the future. Um, I want this channel to be a good, happy feeling when you come here and when you watch a video. I don't want to be all gloom and doom and always go into the negative stuff. Um, this should be a fun place to be, to hang out, to watch videos, to be on our Instagram and watch our stuff. And I want the conversation about paint protection film to change and I want it to shift towards something that I feel like a lot of people haven't gotten to yet. Um, I'm gonna kind of be on a mission to make paint protection film a, 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 a different conversation um, than it has been. And uh, I definitely hope to see more of you guys around here on, on the channel and in the comments and on the Instagram. So definitely, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And literally, as I pulled into the gas station to hook our customer up and make sure he's got a full tank of gas because I don't want him to pick up on an empty tank, literally, the gas light just turned on. So uh, clearly, we had the right idea. Well, this is what a status detail Monday looks like, I guess. This is just kind of just normal stuff. Or maybe you're seeing this on Sunday or Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't know who knows when you're watching it. Um, but yeah, so I, I definitely pick up cars for customers. If you uh, live in the northern suburbs, which is where this car was, I'll definitely pick your car up and we can always uh, hook you up. 99% uh, of my customers are comfortable with me driving this stuff because I do it so often that I am comfortable. I you know, know all the stuff. I know the front end lift and how these things shift and how to make them happy. Um, none of that scares me. Dri driving this car is no different than driving any of my cars to me. I'm just pretty comfortable in my, in my environment of you know working on and being around very, very expensive cars. I think a lot of people freak out when they're in them when they're you know, kind of unable to uh, function kind of, kind of for a couple minutes. Uh, and then they kind of come back down to earth and then they're like, oh, it's a car. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is kind of what I do. So if you're new to the channel, our channel is growing pretty, pretty, uh, quickly, I think, uh, definitely subscribe. I, uh, am in and out of cool cars. I like to show you guys some of this stuff. And, uh, today's video is kind of, um, going to talk about a specific topic that doesn't have a lot to do with cars themselves, more about detailing itself, which this is a detailing channel.